What up, YouTube fans? This is Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play of Lego City Undercover. Let's see where you guys are hiding. Got them. Time to get those low lives off the high rise. Huh. I should probably steer clear of cheesy one liners. Huh? Ellie, I've located the robbers, but I'm going to head up the building next to them instead. That way, I could jump across from its rooftop and have the element of surprise. Or, if I don't make it, a week off work in the infirmary. Enjoy the hospital food, Chase. I don't have vertigo or some other ridiculous phobia. Slightly nauseous.
That furniture looked tacky anyway. Those thieves get away. <laughs> One down, uh, the rest to go. I didn't even realize I was a gymnast. me and that makes two and there's number three that just leaves the leader I guess he's gonna be a bit harder to catch. <sighs> now that's a view. See what appears to be the leader of the gang of robbers stood on one of the rooftops. He seems to be waving at someone. It'll take more than that to stop me, mister. Ah, why did I have to open my big yap? Wait, I've just seen a member of the Lego City PD swing into the fray. It looks like this pursuit will end in an arrest. This is Conrad Peters on the scene for Channel K News. Give up already! Tell me who you're working for. Uh, it's uh, uh, George. Uh, 
George, Todd, Todd, Benson, Barry. Oh, come on. I, I can't tell you. He'll take me apart. All right, I work for Rex Fury. Rex, where is he? I don't know. I never see him. He just phones me. Then who would know? Search me. Maybe Blue. He needs the fixer in Albatross prison. Go see him. Just don't let me fall. You seem very well informed for a car thief. Yeah, well, I pick things up. Not anymore, you don't. George Fartar Bensonbury? Hey, long time no see day. Chase! I just saw you on the TV news. You looked a little pasty. Did you get a lead? Yeah, straight to Albatross Prison. Do you know how I can get there? Ooh, Chief won't like that. He's closed the file on Rex's escape. What if the Chief didn't know? I don't know. I'll go ask him. No, wait. Look, is there a way of getting there without the Chief finding out? Okay, there's one way you can do it. First, you get on the ferry at the jetty behind the police station. And then? You don't tell the chief about it! <sighs> Thanks, Frank. I'll see you later. Okay, good luck! And if you speak to Ellie, tell her I said hi! Bluffbeard, Chase McCain. Ah, it's been a long time. I saw you this morning. Ah, it's been six hours. What are you doing here? I decided on a change of career. I'm now captain of the ferry which takes rum coves and no good ne'er do wells over to Albatross Prison. Great, the ferry. Where is it? I sunk it. I don't suppose you could build a new one for me, could you?
Hey, Ellie, do we have any super bricks out the back of the police station? I need to rebuild the ferry. Has Frank been driving it again? Surprisingly, no. Huh. Okay. Let me just update your scanning software again. Right. You should be able to use your communicator as a data scanner now. It'll show up any super bricks nearby. After I hang up, just tap the data scanner button on your communicator and follow the instructions. Thanks, Ellie. Yeah. I can't help but feel I should be a pirate. I've got a voice after all. Oh, wait. I'm allergic to parrot feathers. You've saved my hide, and no mistake. Up on board, and we'll set sail for Albatross Prison. Uh, okay. You never know, we might even make it there. Nice to see they take security so seriously. I guess I'll just let myself in and then track down Blue.
policeman. You belong in the law court, not our basketball court. Hey, nice work, man. You be using the language real good. I sure am, too. If that's a basketball court, where's your basketball? A bunch of real mean bullies took it off us. They are not nice. If I get it back for you, will you let me in? We'll see. I ain't promising nothing. Oh, man, that's a double negative. You have let me down. My legs are tired. Don't suppose you're open to bribery. I can't wait to start my new job at the bar. Aw, man. I'm just a small-time crook. All I steal are wristwatches. I'm a victim of the system. Better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. Rex Fury? That man owes me. For helping him escape? Why would I do that? Rex was my biggest customer until he disappeared, <laughs> owing me for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? <clears throat> Speaking of which... Careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Uh, sure, Blue! So how did Rex escape? Well, that's the question on everyone's lips. Except no one's allowed in his cell to find out. Not even the police. That's not right. But we both want to see Rex back in here. So I've got an idea. Get some gear from the cupboard in my cell. Then I'll call you with more information on this. That's a croissant. We aren't allowed phones in here. The phone's inside it. Put your number in. Go! Oh. <laughs> there. I hope this plan of yours works, Blue. Uh, are you free, man? No. No, I am not Freeman. His lawyers might be watching. What's the matter, Haywood? You don't like your new car? Car? <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Good work. So, is there any way I can help you, officer? Yeah. I need to check a prisoner's cell for something. He's called Blue. <laughs> Blue? He's been here almost as long as me. Always sees I get some of that cake his mom bakes him. It kind of tastes funny. There you go. I'm off for a nap. Need to stay alert. That's why I have at least four a day. Let me out of here. I'm innocent. I'm gonna get you back for this, policeman. You can't keep me in here! Not on a sunny day! My lawyer will hear about this! I am really regretting my life choices about now. I should have stayed in school. Get in there? Yeah. Okay. I gotta be quick. There are guards near me. Now, once you've got the equipment, you need to get into the warden's office. What? It's the only way to Rex's cell. Wait. Shh. Yeah, that's Blue. He's the one that talks to pastries. Cuckoo. Okay. Now go. The door's at the right side of the third story. And you better hope the warden's not in there. It's a good thing these bars are between you and me. Give a guy a second chance. Chase, this is really important. What is it? So, do you think Ellie likes me or not? Frank! I'm at the prison, remember? Trying to find out how Rex escaped? Oh, sorry. But yeah, I, I think she does. Sweet!
case. You in? Yeah. The warden just went through a door on the other side of his office. Hmm. That's his private bathroom. Block the door. The warden has a hidden elevator to Rex's cell block in his office, but he's not gonna let you snoop around for it. Gotcha. Ha! He won't get out of there in a hurry. Hello? There's someone out there. No! I told you! I haven't let anyone look in there. Not even that fool Dunby. I don't want you back here either. No! Of course I didn't call you from a toilet. Gotta go. Who is that? What are you doing? Are you looking in my safe? Don't touch my records! They're alphabetized! You better not be messing with my records! Especially not the opera ones! Those are for my listening only! Don't you dare play it! What's happening out there? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. Okay. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! Somebody! Open this door! I need fresh air! The old secret entrance behind a painting. What a classic. This must be Rex's cell. A punch bag and weightlifting equipment? Oh, great. Because the last thing we want is criminals who are weak and easy to arrest. That's interesting. A hidden button. Hey, guys. Does Rex know you're using his hot tub? I'm gonna give you what for! A jukebox in a jail cell? I guess that means it's full of... Criminal records. So, did you manage to get into the warden's private elevator? Yeah. 
Wow, Rex's cell is nicer than my apartment. Mostly down to me. After the warden made sure he got the biggest room in the prison. Hmm. Well, what'd you expect to find in there, anyhow? I figure he was probably in a hurry when he busted out of here. So he might have left some evidence behind. Well, good luck catching Rex, Chase. And when you get him, tell him Blue says hi. That's right. It's not just police beats that I'm good at. Whoa! I'm glad I wasn't sat on that. There's the last button. Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a... Hang on. Didn't I say this already? Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell mine. Give me that. If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. It's a hammer. And where's it from? There's no way to tell, but the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, the, there was a theft there a few months ago. I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie!
Chase? Hi, Ellie. What do you need? Have you seen Frank around? He's doing a favor for me. Sorry, not heard from him. Uh, well, I've got you. Do you know anything about a theft at Bluebell Mine? Sure do. Uncle Duke took me along with him. Some thugs took a load of equipment. Dumby took us off the case before we could interview the witness, though. Said he sounded like a crank. <coughs> there was a witness? Yeah, kooky old guy. Hang on. Clarence Fletcher. Says here his friends call him Stinky. Nice. Thanks, Ellie. Sounds like Stinky might know who Rex's guys are on the outside. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for Frank. And try taking the train from Cherry Tree Hill Station. You'll get to the mine a lot faster. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.